Joining us now, President and CEO of the National Urban League, Mark Morial. And Mark, uh, let's start there. Good morning. Um, the economy's at a standstill. Some major companies are considering bankruptcy. The relief package that has been put together and, and the efforts that the government is making, is it addressing the needs of African Americans, many of whom are being disproportionately impacted by this virus? Well, well, first of all, let me say good morning to you, Mika. Good morning, Willie, and good morning to the Morning Joe audience. Uh, the, the first package that the Congress, or the $2.2 trillion package that the Congress passed had some, uh, some features in it, uh, which in concept were excellent. In execution, there were problems. For example, the Paycheck Protection Program we've learned now because of reporting by your sister station, CNBC, uh, that two-thirds of the money went to publicly traded companies. And I don't believe that that was the vision for a program that's to benefit small businesses. So in the new bill that is passed the Senate and is expected to receive final passage today, there were some carve-outs in it. There's a $60 billion carve-out for a $10,000 emergency disaster loan slash grant for the very small businesses, and I would encourage them to pursue that money immediately. There's a $60 billion carve-out for rural banks, minority banks, uh, community loan funds, CDFIs, and the others. These are improvements, but I think so much more needs to be done. The economy is in a self-induced mm -hmm. coma designed to help us save lives and prevent the spread of this virus. There's a fundamental responsibility that the government has, I believe, to help almost everyone bridge these troubled waters. So more will need to be done. And this is, Mika, the challenge of our times. If I say so, it is World War III. Yeah. Uh, Mike Barnacle is with us. And, Mike, um, you've got the next question from Mark Morial. Hey, Mike. Mark, if anybody is out there who uh, did not believe coming into this situation that there are at least two Americas, the virus casualty rate in minority communities would certainly point that out. So going forward, uh, given the catastrophic attack the virus has made on minority communities in the United States, what has to be done, what can realistically be done in the immediate future, not long term, immediate future, about access to health care, access to health insurance in these minority communities? Let me, let me frame it both ways. So in the short run, we've got to make sure that testing is going to be universally and equitably available and that treatment uh, medicines, when they are designed, discovered, uh, and then finally, a vaccine that it is universally and equitably available and not some people in the front of the train and the others in the caboose. So that's a short run. Going forward on access, number one, I think those states that have not expanded Medicaid need to do so immediately. It would have a very significant effect on health access disparities. Number two, I think it's time to take the step uh, to allow people age 50 to enroll in the Medicare program. And then thirdly, we need a public mm -hmm. option. So we've got to fix these access issues. They can easily be fixed. I think there's tremendous support for this so that everyone is covered so we can shift our system from a sick care system to a system that prevents acute, uh, chronic, and difficult uh, health problems. So. That, to me, is very doable. But in the short run, we've got to make sure that testing, that the vaccine, that treatments are universally available. We need the hand of the federal government and the principle of equity, inclusion, and universal access. These access issues are issues for urban communities, but I'm learning they're issues for rural communities and for Indian country and, and for communities all across in small towns. In Georgia, for example, many counties have no hospital at all. Mark Morial, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Our, great to have you. Thank you. Uh, in the final moments here of Morning Joe, uh, Mike Barnacle, uh, 10 seconds or less, what's your gut looking ahead to today? 
My gut is, Mika, that we are just wallowing in mediocrity from the top levels of this government of ours, and that's, the, that's really the basic problem. All right. Well, let's hope that changes for Willie and Joe and me. That does it for us this morning. Stephanie Rule picks up the coverage after this final break. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.